IAQ Clarified, brought to you by the Indoor Air Quality Association, provides helpful consumer-focused tips on indoor air quality topics. Here is another tip from IAQA training provider, Ian Cull. Hi, this is Ian Cull bringing you an IAQA tech tip on cockroach allergen. When talking to homeowners about their allergy symptoms, most ask about mold, pollen, and dust mites. Many people are surprised to find out that cockroaches are also clinically significant when it comes to allergies. The more frequently cockroaches are seen, the greater the presumed allergen level. However, it's possible for someone to be experiencing symptoms from cockroach allergen without having seen any cockroaches. One study found that those homes with no reported visual signs of cockroaches in the previous 12 months 48% still had detectable levels of cockroach allergen. Cockroaches thrive in inner cities and in warm climates. Really, they can be found anywhere there's ample food, water, shelter, and a pathway to get in. This becomes a challenge in an apartment building when your neighbor regularly leaves out dirty dishes and a demising wall between units is poorly sealed. The allergen is found in the cockroaches' feces, eggs, saliva, and shed cuticles. The allergens are mostly found on larger particles with diameters greater than 10 microns, so much of the allergen does not remain airborne for long periods of time. Dust samples are a popular method for quantifying levels of cockroach allergen. The levels in the dust can be compared to establish thresholds for becoming sensitized and thresholds for allergic symptoms in already sensitized individuals.